Hi all Ranger Kids, welcome to the Tying Knots Achievement Award. Let's start with a physical requirement. Learn and make the following three knots. Figure 8, square knot, and overhand knot. I will be going over these right now. Here's how you make the figure 8 knot. You make an overhand loop like this, and then you take the working end and you turn it over the standing part like this and then you bring it up and you're going to tuck it through the loop, the eye of the loop that you made and then simply you're just going to pull and that is the figure eight knot if you're curious about an alternate way make a bite and then perform two twists to make an elbow this is called an elbow and you take the working part and you tuck it through the eye of the loop and just pull. Here's how you tie the square knot. Both ends are going to be your working end. Here's the right side and here's the left side. It's very important to make that distinction. The right goes over the left and you're going to take it, make a turn like so. You're going to turn down first, and then you're going to turn up, and then give yourself some slack. Alright, you have the right side now, and the left side. This time, the left goes over the right, and you do the same exact thing. You make it turn down, you tuck it through, you come up, and just pull. And that is the square knot. It's one of the first knots I've ever learned in Royal Rangers. An easy way to untie it is you need, need to break the knot. You just take one of the ends and go like that. This is called the capsized knot, or li little trivia. And then you just pull it out just like that. Now, here's what you don't do. So here's right, and right goes over left. I'm going to turn down, then turn up, give myself slack. Here's what you don't do. Don't do right over left again. If you do so, this is how it would turn out. And you have something called the granny knot, and it's really not a stable knot to have. The square knot isn't really a stable knot, so you don't really want to use it to join two lines, but you could use it for first aid. You could use the square knot to tie off a bandage. Here's another application to the square knot. Let's say that you want to have a whistle around your neck. Well, you would probably use a longer piece of rope, but here's how you would do it. You would fit one end of the rope through the key ring, and then you would just tie a simple square knot. And there you go. So here's how you tie the overhand knot. Take a rope, you make a loop, and you feed this around and through the eye and just pull. The reason why it's called the overhand knot is because this is a type of loop called the overhand loop. And if I were to do this, this would be called the underhand loop, and consequently this would be called the underhand knot. But the overhand knot is the basic knot to tie. But there is something called the double overhand knot, just for something a little extra. You take the rope and you tie a basic overhand knot, but before you tighten, you just make one extra turn around, and then this is called the double overhand knot. And then you could do it three times, that would be a triple, or four times, that would be a quadruple. Figure eight knots could be used to stop or knots. So let's say that you want to hang a clipboard with a piece of rope. You would put the rope through and then you would just simply tie the figure eight knot and if you notice it's not going anywhere. It stops the rope from coming all the way through. 
hence the name Stout Bernard. Same thing with the simple overhand knot as well. The figure 8 knot could also be used for arts and crafts as well. Here's something that I made for leather craft several, several years ago. Let's say that you're putting twine through beads and you're making a design and you have all these beads that you're putting on top of each other. Well, to prevent them when you're done from just coming out, you could just tie the stopper knot and it will stop them from coming out. When you get older and do Discovery Rangers, you'll probably take um, the Rope Craft Merit. I have a video on that already if you're interested in that. Or when you uh, get to Discovery Rangers, you can watch that video. Or your commanders will, will teach you. And it goes through, you know, different types of rope. It goes through all these different types of knots. The figure eight knot and the square knot are a part of it, along with several other neat and useful knots to know. You'll be able to know how to whip and fuse the end of certain ropes and how to coil a rope. So it's a very exciting, useful, practical merit and I'm sure you're going to have fun. Let's move on to the mental requirement. Demonstrate one knot to your commander and explain how you can use it. Okay, let's move on to the social requirement. Demonstrate for the group how to tie one of the knots. And finally, the spiritual requirement. Memorize Psalm 37.3. So to memorize means that you're able to say the scripture without looking. It may take some practice and try writing it down and try saying it over and over again. Try to come up with a jingle, meaning make it into a song. So repeat after me. Trust in the Lord. and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Okay, let's put it all together and this time say it with me. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. So congratulations, you got a great start on the Tying Knots Achievement Award. The next step is to show and tell the commander and the rest of the range of kids at your outpost. Great job.